Hey everybody, I am about to share with you something that is going to blow your mind and something that can make your life so much more productive, more efficient, give kids real-time feedback and eliminate the massive stacks of paper that you take home every single day. Boys and girls, ladies and germs, I present to you using Autocrat to create a rubric using Google Forms to keep a whole comprehensive system of how you're assessing students while also giving them real-time feedback on how you have assessed them. Let me show you how this works, let your brains explode, and then I cannot wait to see how all of you start to use this method to give real-time feedback, productive feedback, and quality feedback to students right away. So, first thing that we're going to do, um, I'm going to pop in here into a Google Sheets. You can have a, a new one here. What I've basically done, uh, this is not a, a rubric, so to speak, um, but this is a Google Sheet here. And you want the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have Autocrat installed. Autocrat is an add-on. And so I already have it here. But you can just go here to get add-ons, and you can search Autocrat. And it's this one right here. Now mine says manage, yours is going to say free. Let's go ahead and get it installed and you're going to be able to rock and roll. Now, here's the first thing. Once you have it in there, you should see it. You're ready to go. I've just created a quick form. This was one that I used with teachers earlier when I sampled it out, but I made a copy of it so I don't bombard their emails again. But the Google form would be your rubric. This is if you're going to be using um, a linear scale, uh, check boxes, a uh, long paragraph or long answer for comments if you want to type and give kids feedback. However you want to assemble your rubric using the, the Google form, that's what you're going to want to do. The key thing that you're going to want to obviously have is an email address to email them. First and last name, maybe you just want first name, last name, all together. That, that's your preference. Um, and period, maybe if that helps you organize for the actual rubric itself. For Autocrat, the most important piece is going to be that email address. So you put that in there, you get the rest of your stuff, and you're ready to rock and roll. So I'm not going to fill this in yet just to show you what we need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to Google Sheets, and I'm going to go to Autocrat, and I'm going to click Launch. It's going to take a second to load up here. Now, I've got nothing here in the queue so far. There's no job set up yet. So we're going to go ahead and click New Job to begin. And I'm just going to label this uh, Autocrat Video Demo. You would name it whatever it is that you want to call it so you remember them. Now, a template. This is the beauty of Autocrat. You can choose and, and create and build the template that you want to use in terms of how the students are going to see this data. So as you start to fill in, in this case, this form, I can choose how people are going to see it. So if I go here to new, I'm going to create a Google Doc here, and I'm just going to call it, once again, Autocrat Video Demo Template. I'm just going to make this real simple. It's not going to be too fancy. I think I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four questions. Uh, so I'm just going to add a table here, just a four by two. And I'm going to type in first, last, candy, and random. Now these were the criteria that we have here in this form. You can make this whatever you want. And just so it's not complete pure suck, I'm just going to go ahead and make this uh, red. Actually, I don't want that. I want to fill with an orange. And now what I'm going to do is what's called merge tags. And so if I look here in this column, these are the columns. This is the information that I want. 
So I'm just going to go in here. I can copy this. And I'm going to go back to my template. And actually, if it helps, I copy the right thing. So I'm going to go first name, copy. And you're going to add these two options here. This makes it a merge tag. What's it going to do? It's going to pull any information here and place it in this file. I'm going to do the same thing for last name. I'm going to do the same thing here for candy. And then the last one here. There, so these are the, the merge tags. Now, on this template here, think about this for a minute. If you're like a PE teacher, you can create and develop in a document or in Google Drawings or whatever it might be, a certificate. You build a certificate and you put the merge tags for first and last name, maybe your signature down below. Uh, and then each merge tag can be like their mile time, how many sit-ups they're doing, how many pull-ups they're doing, and it would automatically give them a certificate. If you're a language arts teacher, boom, there it is. I've seen it now with PLC meetings where they have a form where they type in, you know, the date, the location, where things have been discussed, key ideas, blah, blah, blah. And they have this beautiful template that's all filled in with merge tags. And it fills it in and it sends it out to everybody. So think about all the different ways in which you can develop a template that AutoCrat would automatically merge and make it look great. You can add images, whatever it is that you want for the template. This one here is, is, is simple and not very exciting, but you're going to see what it does here in just a minute. So I have this name here. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose from Drive. And I'm going to go ahead and pick this template here. And hopefully it'll pop it up here in just a minute. There it is. It's loaded it up. So we go ahead and click Next. Now the map to source the data template, what it's going to do, it's going to read my template, and it's going to read this, this document here. And it's going to try its best to match it up. So here is the merge tag that I typed in, if you remember that on this document. right here, here's that merge tag that I created. Now what it's doing is it's trying to guess what column it is. So in this case, it's it picked right, it's first name, last name, last name, favorite candy, it's all good to go. But say it picks the wrong one. You simply go here and you can choose whatever it is you want this merge tag to actually pull the data from, whichever column it, it might be. So this all looks good for me, I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Now the file name. Okay, so here's the beauty of it. I'm going to go Autocrat Video Demo. This is how it's going to name the file. Now I can also tag this. So say I want last name, I can paste it in there. So now every time a file is created, it'll say Autocrat Video Demo, and then it's going to pull the last name. So it'll say Maurer, or it's going to say Armstrong, or Udi, or whatever it might be. You can choose, and you can click right here in this blue tab, and here's all the different little merge tags that you can pick on there. If it's a PLC meeting, it can be the name of the PLC and the date, and you can just add as many as you want um, up into this file name. Google, or the type, I can make it a Google document or a PDF, and I'm just going to keep this multiple documents right now, um, just so everything stays separate. Destination folders, I can choose where I want this to go. And so I'm going to pick here my Google Drive where I want that to be. I'm going to pick here in my demo folder. You already have a folder set up. I would encourage you to kind of keep a, a separate Autocrat folder, maybe just as you first start off, and then you can kind of pick wherever you want it to go. I'm going to hit Next. These are advanced features, and for the, for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to skip. So I'm going to hit Next here. And I'm also going to hit next here as well. Now, here's where it gets awesome. So share docs and send emails. So if I'm in a class as a teacher and I'm listening to an oral presentation, I'm grading it on the fly, 
I want the kids to have that feedback right away. Or maybe I'm working with a small group. And so I'm going to say yes because I want them to be able to see my feedback. And so you have all these options. It can be an edible, edible doc, view only, comment only, anyone, a PDF. In this case, I'm going to say it's a PDF. All right, and I don't want it to be a generic email address. I want them to know that it's from me, so I've selected no, and um, this option is up to you if you want other people to reshare. Now, who do I want to send this to? Here's where this beautiful blue tab helps you again. I'm going to pick email address. All right, and I know you can't see this, but if you just click whatever merge tag it is, it automatically copies it to the clipboard, so then I can just paste it back over here. So I'm going to send it to the email address. The subject's going to be whatever it is that you want to call it. I'm going to call it Autocrat Video Demo. And then I can say, hello. I can make it as simple as I want. Or I can say, hey, I want to say their, their name. So hello, first name. Hopefully this demo video works. You can make it whatever you want it to be. I've got the way I want. I'm going to go ahead and click next here. Now, I'm going to click yes. These triggers are going to allow us to do things. Um, we can decide when we want this information to be shared out. So I'm going to hit yes. It's going to take a minute to update here. And I can choose on time triggers. So I can choose for my Google Doc to run this. Do I want it to check every hour, two hours, three hours? And what it's going to do is if there's any time there's a new entry, it'll check, it'll automatically send out the email. So I'm just going to pick one hour for right now, and then I'm going to hit save. So this is where it gets really awesome, guys. So now I've got this created. All right, boom, there it is. Now I don't have any information here yet. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to run this. And here's what it's going to show me. It's going to show me that there's there's nothing going on because there's no data yet. But for the sake of, of the tutorial, I'll show you here. So it's going to load this autocrat back up. And I've got these options. I can delete this. I can get information and go back and edit. I can preview the job details. I can edit the job or I can run the job. So I'm going to run this. So now it's, it's checking. It's checking this spreadsheet to see what's going on. Merge sequence is started. All right, it's created these documents over here. You don't need to worry about these. I'll show you here in a minute. But nothing's, been, nothing's happened because there's no entry. So let's go ahead and fill this in here. So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to send this out. to myself. All right, so here we go. Let me show you. So now here's the rubric. Now in my case, it's just a, a demo survey. But this is your rubric. You have it pulled up in your drive. You're adding information of the kid. Here's Aaron Mauer. All right, he's talking about Skittles. Um, Stranger Things is amazing. Okay, these are all your rubric pieces. So just pretend it's a rubric and not just a survey. I'm gonna go ahead and submit this. Now, should show up here, okay, here it is. Now, in one hour, it's gonna check again, but for the sake of time for this demo, we're gonna open this up. And we're gonna run this. And what's gonna happen, oh, it's already, already got it. They already sent it out, we already had that trigger, I, I forgot. So, Here's what happens. Here's the beauty of this. One, it creates a URL for you. Okay, this is the AutoCrat video. It's already done. And we should see this table filled in. See, this is the, the, the form that I filled out, and it filled it in. There it is. I have a link. As a teacher, I have a link to this document. Okay, here's the link to the, the merge document. Okay, there it is. And then it tells me that it was ran and when it was timestamped. So it marks exactly when it happened. Now, if I'm a student, if I go back here because I sent it to myself, here, a kid's going to get an email. 
here it is. Look at Hello, Aaron. Hopefully this demo video works. It did. And remember, I, if you remember, my setting was a PDF. I can click on it. There it is. So this could be the certificate. Uh, as we're working with art teachers, here's a rubric back of feedback on your art or exhibition. You can hear it is. Here's what people are saying about the work. Or if you're in PE, here's a certificate and you have merge tagged all their, their entries. So what happens is you as a teacher have a spreadsheet of all the data. You can sort and organize it however you want. But yet Autocrat's going to shoot this out to the kid so they get real-time feedback as well. And you don't have to do anything. It's, it's not an extra step. You have to do some front work to make sure you have it. But think about if you built your templates ahead of time, you use the same template for the same time of assessment over and over again, you don't have to recreate the wheel. You're just double checking the merge tags, making sure it looks the way you want, and then boom, away you go. So here's a fantastic way to take a Google form, use it as a rubric or some sort of assessment measure. As you fill it out, it fills in here and it blasts out then to the students their actual work. Now the last thing that I'm going to share with you and that I can't wait to see examples, hear ideas and hopefully your brains is melting right now is you could use the same form. I can use it here for my own assessments. I can also send it out for kids to do self assessments and we can just have this whole thing where we're looking at what did I say, what did the kids say and it's just an awesome awesome way to gather a lot of information for you as well as the students. So there it is in a nutshell in the video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you're excited as I am. I think it can be a game changer, saving paper, real-time feedback, making life easier for everyone. Let me know what questions you have, what thoughts you have, what, what things are running through your mind, and I look forward to pushing all our learning and the ways we use technology to make our lives more productive, efficient, and more importantly, to enhance learning to the best way that we can. Take care.